You're watching Better.TV. Well, you know, summer's going to be here before we know it, and so will the rush to catch a flight to our favorite vacation spot. And that can mean a not-so-healthy airline meal. But now, Heather Bauer is going to be letting us in on a secret in her book. It's this one, The Wall Street Diet. So no more fear of that food flying once again. I'm, I hate flying. I hate eating the food even more. <laughs> Welcome hey, to the show. Thanks for having me. A lot of airlines don't even provide nutritional information for the food that you're, or if you want to call it food, that you're about to eat <laughs> right. on the plane, right? Right. You have a couple of guidelines for people before exactly. you get on. Exactly. Exactly. First thing is you can always call ahead to see if there is a low-fat meal or another healthy option so that you can plan for that in advance. Oh. Another thing you can do is just skip some of the extra things, like okay. there are the nuts, for example. Yeah. A lot of people think nuts are high in protein and they can be a good option, but not if they're constantly refilled or if you eat more than one little bag. Oh. They're also salty and salt yeah. can be a trigger for sugar, which people aren't aware of. Especially they on think, that long flight exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you start out with the salty nuts and then you also have maybe the tomato juice or the Virgin Bloody Mary mix, which is your <laughs> whole day's worth of sodium. Yeah. one can and then you're just going to crave the sweet things later on. That's trouble for you, yeah. especially on the long flight like that and a lot of airlines are not serving actual meals anymore, exactly. right? So you were able to find out the nutritional information for the snacks, most a of the snacks, A lot of the snacks, snacks right? exactly. I mean, if you are served a meal, the best way to navigate that meal itself is really just to skip the dry carbs. So skip the bread, skip the, if it's pasta or rice, and skip the dessert and so you're really left with a salad, a protein, and a vegetable and the portions are fairly small. Uh -huh. So you can get a great meal that way. But in terms of the actual like snacks that they're serving now, there are really healthy picks if you just learn how to navigate your way right. through. Right. Now, Heather, you've been through a lot of these airlines, checking things out. If you had to tell us which one of the airlines you think has the healthiest snacks, which would it be? I would say Continental, just because they offer a sandwich. Um, and really, even if you eat the bun um, and the whole sandwich with the side of carrots, okay. it's just about 200 calories, so it's really not that bad. Okay. Now, let's yeah. break it down by airline. Okay, I'll tell you the go. airline, and you tell us what you're finding. Sounds right? good. Let's start off with the American. Okay. So, an American. And your best option is really to pick, um, they have a bagel sandwich, for example. You could eat the inside of the sandwich and eat half the bagel and you're left with about 300 calories. Oh. They also have an Asian chicken salad that you could do, and if you get the dressing on the side, it's about 360 calories. Okay, interesting. Now, Continental, how about that? Continental, so that's, that was one I was just talking about. <laughs> yeah. They actually have um, a few different sandwich options. Doesn't matter what's in the inside, the whole sandwich on almost all of them with the side of carrots is about 200 calories. Okay, now Delta, they have those little snack baskets as well. Too, exactly. Right? So Delta has the snack baskets, and with that one, I would probably go with the granola bar. That would be your best bet in okay. that option. JetBlue, known for not serving full meals, right. but they have a lot of snacks. Lots right? of snacks. So you have to be very controlled in this situation and make sure you only ask for one. Ah. So the best bet would, be, if you were if you were protein star, would be to go for the cashew halves, which is about 170 calories. But you could also go for the um, 100 calorie pack of wheat thins, but those may may leave you a little bit more hungry okay. than doing the nuts. Oh gosh, I go and get like three and four back. Right. right. All right. So United. stick to one, <laughs> that's one. the key. United Airlines. Now, United has a ton of these different snack packs, um, and a lot of them have individual items that are really good, so I would go for a pairing system there. Okay. So um, if you start with the Smart Pack, I would actually go for the applesauce and the cheese, and you could get the lavash crackers. I would pair those three together. Interesting. Very um, interesting. So, so that way you're getting a little protein, a little bit of yeah. a healthy carb, and a little bit of a fruit. Okay. Well, you guys have to pick up her book. Heather's book is called The Wall Street Diet. It has all the information in there. You have to read it before you get on another flight. And Thank you for watching Better.TV. Please email us your thoughts, ideas at Better.TV. Together we'll make your home, family, and life better.